Boosh. Hey, yo. And good morning, guys. <laughs> we are back again for another video. Some more Miata content. As you guys can see, the faces are still sitting in Brandon's basement because we are still waiting for the barrels to be fixed. Bro, we put them together just to take them back apart. I know. <laughs> I've like, taken what? apart and put them back together so many times for them not to be on my car. But so today we are going to do a wire tuck on my Miata. Not sure if I have everything I need, but yeah. yeah. We were going to do it on my car to be the test run. But uh, Brandon got too excited and decided to do it on his. Yeah, so let's get to the garage and let's start pulling off the wait, money. Wait, 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 wait. You can teleport. You can teleport. Right? Hey! <laughs> Whoa, that was wild. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, isn't this crazy? This is the first time my car was on jack stands and Mace's car is not here. Damn. Yeah, my car right now is uh, broken at my house unfortunately and can't drive so technically it's not on jack stands but well he can't even jack up his car to work <laughs> on it so i don't know how that's gonna work so first thing we're gonna do take off the body kit best way to do it I did not want to stand near you with that knife acting like that. Alright. Alright, body kit's off. Body kit off. I forgot how to take this off. Oh, I have a bolt in there. <laughs> Why are you using bolts? I'm sorry, man. Bolts? Oh, also. Bolts? Also. We didn't need to see that. But! Hey. The new Miata February drop is here. Love more. It says... Konnichiwa. <laughs> no man. But yeah, guys, go down in the description. Check out our shop. That shirt is up there right now. And hopefully it's not sold out because it's a very, very, very limited drop. But Miata hoodies, Miata are, hoodies still in are still in stock. <laughs> go grab yours. Miata, Miata, Miata. Miata, Miata, Miata. Miata. All right, after uh, a little predicament of Brandon actually using bolts on his body kit for once, the body kit's coming off. <laughs> yes. Looking like you're me out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Taking off the body kit continues. Last one to the skirt. Wow, this lighting is really good on your skin. I know. <laughs> If there are any uh, makeup companies, you guys want to sponsor me? It's like that. <laughs> Fender coming off now. Have I told you guys I don't know what I'm doing? Every video. <laughs> Let's see. Did we get all the miscellaneous bolts? I think so. Yeah. Also, look guys. I don't know if you've noticed, but we can actually have the garage door open today it's super nice i think this is the first time we've done this in a good solid few months bro, so that's super radical bro oh, bro bro sick, sick. <laughs> nice cock why are you fingering it like that Look at i'm just seeing where this goes God. so next thing we're doing is we are taking off the headlight housings because we do have to unplug the headlights to route it outside here so Let's get those taken off and start probably drilling. Yep. Brandon's going to put a drill in my hand today. Never. Hey, yeah. Never. I am never putting a drill in your hand. You. All right, well, we're ripping the eyeballs out of Rosie right now and unplugging stuff. So, guys, Brandon just uh, took out the headlight motor wire. Um, his hand didn't get chopped off, so we're doing good right now. I know, right? Solid. First for everything, huh? <laughs> we only have one horn. I mean, it makes sense. It's a small, tiny car. We only have one horn. I mean, there's also, like, only one motor. Like, what are you trying to say? Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> like... Oh. No. <laughs> this is actually a tutorial on, um... How to break everything on your Miata. 
That's what we're gonna title this. How to break your entire engine bay in your Miata. Yeah, let's just delete the wires to the car. Who needs wires, right? Nice! It's, what is it, this? It's literally just oh, this. Oh, it's this. Wait, what? Oh, mother. Mother chode. Oh, <laughs> nice. There we go. All right, wires deleted. Who needs headlights? Huh? Did you unplug your battery? Nope. Probably should. Do I had imagine? one. I had one good idea that was like actually like for safety. Brandon, Brandon just shuts it down. Who needs safety? I say take it off without breaking it. <laughs> oh, I'm doing clear tails. All right, bottom. I... Yeah, all right, bottom. I... You want to know why I ran out of the eBay gift cards? Because <laughs> you bought too many cheap Miata parts. Hey, sometimes cheap is good. Why do you think I have a Miata? And not like a S2K? You see that S2K right there? That door clapped. My Miata, all one color. <laughs> Technically, right. his his hard top's a Ford color, so. Oh, fuck! Have you tried opening your eyes? Let me take this out. I did a little something like this. So guys, ideally you're supposed to not drill down here, but actually drill right here where his brace is. But since he has the brace, he has to find another location. So it's just making it more difficult. Yep. Hey, step bits make it so much easier. <laughs> So right now I'm just trying to figure out how to go about deep pinning all the connections. Yes. Basically guys, what we're gonna have to do with these is because say like this connector for the headlight motor is so thick and big. I wanna that, drill a big hole. Yeah, we don't wanna drill a hole this size. So what we're gonna do is take the wires out of this connector Feed the wires through and then we can put the connector back on once the wires are fed through um now we're probably going to be here for a while doing that just because it's just a very monotonous job um hey what'd you get your sat score hey man you're using big words you're you using big words understand me dude i, I like have that. no idea what you're <laughs> saying dog but yeah guys we're gonna we're gonna sit here try to figure out how to deep in all of this <coughs> and come back to you when we have started or finished deep pinning all of these connectors because it's gonna take a while. Just to, just to give you guys a little bit of perspective, we've been sitting here for probably 15 minutes-ish. We got one deep pinned. So guys, after cleaning the whole frame up a little bit, fixing a little patch of rust as you guys saw, we're finally tucking the wires. So just doing a little shoving in the hole happy valentine's day <laughs> so we got most of the harness actually through now brandon was splitting it up like i said that is some personal preference here so he wants to keep the diag box in the engine bay which makes sense so if you guys would like to do the same like i said you're gonna have to cut your harness up but we got the harness threaded through Diag box still in here. We are good to go on this side. I think and we're gonna we make this hole. a little bit prettier. Drill another hole, like I said earlier. So tie these up. Yep. And we're golden. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Now that we have the driver's side pretty much all finished up, I am gonna head out, head back home, get 
working on the website for you guys and some other little stuff for, you know, our socials, all the visuals. And Brandon here is gonna stay right here and finish up the passenger side. I'll see you guys soon. Bye, Brandon. Bye. All right, and yes, Mace left. But what I bought were these, if it will focus, these Arrowhead zip ties, which there are factory holes along the side that you just stick these in and you just zip tie it together. You can find these on uh, eBay. I'll drop a link down below to these. These are a absolute lifesaver for this wire tuck. So right now I'm just assembling this side. So we can start on the other side. Oh my God, I just cleaned up the engine bay with some uh, degreaser and a, a brush. And this thing looks amazing. So I just finished up the driver's side. So now let's start working on the passenger side. So I did get all the wires fed through this side and sheesh, look how much space I've cleared up. Well, you guys will see once I put everything back in, but God, I'm super happy. So update for you guys. You actually do have to extend some of the wires on the passenger side just cause you know, your motor wire won't reach all the way over here. So I'm gonna have to extend that wire as well as the harness. So I've been working, trying to extend these cables. I have, you know, my wires and I have some of these wires and I just extended this cable right here. And that leads to this sensor. So I just have a couple more wires to extend so it can reach the power steering, the uh, thermostat, and this one right here. The, the, um, throttle body positioning sensor? I don't know. So I didn't have to drill any of the holes. All of it actually just fits right into the stock holes that were there. And all I did was use, like I said, these arrowhead zip ties. So as for the headlight wire, I have everything tucked along this side. I did run this one underneath and through this grommet that was already here. This will go to everything in your engine bay. As for these, don't know what these actually do. I'm pretty sure this is a relay for the, the fan, but since I run the fans in parallel, I don't think I need this. So I'm just gonna tuck this away. So I just finished up the driver's side and sheesh, it looks so good. Most of the wires were moved from the center of it to the back and also comes out this grommet right here, which I think looks better than the wire just coming all the way down there. But I'm throwing the fender back on and then the body kit goes on. And then this car can be back on the ground. I also started, you know, sanding down my uh, valve cover just to see how well I can, you know, make it because I do want to do a polished valve cover and a polished intake manifold and redo all the bolts. But once the motor's out and you know, I throw the turb ski in, well, that's not the correct turb ski. But when I throw it in, I will be painting the whole engine bay the same color as the car. I don't like mix match body panels or in Mitch, eh, mix match like engine bay colors. It's just not my thing. But yeah, hopefully, I can get this done at a reasonable hour. It's like 1 a.m. right now and I am tired. So it's... I tripped the breaker. So it's time to put this car back on the floor. And now she is back on the floor. I just gotta tighten down the negative battery terminal right over here. And then let's give this thing a cold start.
So guys, I think that is a wrap for today. Super happy with the install. It took me three days. It was probably like a seven out of 10, how hard it was to actually do everything. Just cause I had to extend a lot of the wires. So, you know, it is what it is. Don't forget to go cop some merch. There are very limited quantities on these t-shirts. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all that stuff. Pat's not here to say this, but I love you guys. Oh, 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 oh,